What's up guys? Welcome back to the Rugged Tyros. Francis here and I'm here with my buddy Randy and we're in Alberta Crown Land. If you're new to this channel, a Tyro is a beginner. Come with us as we learn and explore the great outdoors. This is probably one of the coldest days this winter that we've had so far, but we just needed to get out. I just wanted to get out. So I'm challenging myself a bit today. This quarantine pandemic has kind of set me back in terms of like activities I'm able to do. So I just wanted to get out more, winter or not. I don't have much for winter hiking gear except my ice fishing attire, but it keeps me warm and I can layer like I do in the summer months. So we're gonna do some exploring. Well, we barely made it up this hill and I can't even breathe. Crazy. guys we found a spot here in a little bit of a clearing uh, we're just gonna stop and have a quick coffee all right guys to heat the coffee I purchased this little hiking stove it's really cool it's in this little case and it fits pretty much in your pocket Just like that, boiling hot water. Always take your garbage with you, you pack out what you pack in. She's hot. She's hot. Did you get that on the video? Yeah. I was just like, hmm. Alright. So it started snowing a little bit again and we're just getting ready to leave, but if you take a look at our area, we left no trace. Like we weren't even here. Other than snow was packed down a little bit, but yeah. Always pack out what you pack in. Ta -da!
rabbit trails. <laughs> Be a good place to go hunting for rabbits. Randy was mentioning the rabbits like hiding out in the bushes area here. In the willows. So essentially just a bit of a shelter. Yeah, a place to hide from the weather. I'm Alright, so Randy and I found this sweet spot to kind of just rest for a bit. We're gonna have a meal and then there's no trees like that are about to fall over in the area. So we're gonna have a fire right here. We're just dividing up some wood and setting up for that. And we saw this other area over here, but definitely not some place that you want to set up because it may look nice down below but if you look up there's this piece of wood hanging there and that my friends is what they call a widow maker so to give you guys a better angle if you were camping underneath that thing Right there. That thing could impale you. So I don't have a rest stop or camp underneath that thing. That's crazy. What's up guys? So I have my tinder here, which is Vaseline and cotton balls. I'm gonna start a fire using this. Your tinder bundle, as some people refer to it. All right, so I got my tinder in there and I have my blast match in my hand. I push down on this a little bit so that the metal piece in there strikes against this uh, flint. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm shocked at how fast that lights up. It's awesome. Yeah. So I had surgery last year and I was kind of stuck on the couch. I have gout, so basically I get foot pains from eating too many high purine foods. And a byproduct of gout is that if you have too many attacks, you build tofi, tofi around the joints and bone areas. So in my case, it was my pinky toe. I tell you, it was incredibly painful. So that's why I had to have surgery. Since then, I've been able to curb my gout attacks. I haven't had as many, or if not any at all. So because of that, I feel like I kind of got another leg on like life, another leg on being able to just walk and do things. I feel like I was granted a chance to kind of walk again. And like, I definitely don't want to take that for granted. I know I'm busy a lot, but I want to start making time for more walks, even if it's just like walks around my neighborhood. But yeah, I want to be able to do like some really cool hikes later in the future. I like getting to the top of a hill and not feel like I'm dying. And so to give me a little bit more motivation, I'm carrying my backpack more often, filling it with some survival things and kind of, even if I'm just walking in my neighborhood, just kind of giving myself a little bit of weight. So rain or shine, I want to try walking a little bit here and there. What you having for supper, Randy? Um, today this is vegetable stew with beef. Nice. All right, so for my supper today, I'm having spicy chicken curry. Woo woo. So Randy's meal, he had a hard time shutting because he broke the Ziploc part of the bag. So we made a bush uh, clothespin. So 
so now we got pretty good seal. Ta-da! This is actually really, really good. I thought it was gonna taste like hardwood. Well, the purpose of this trip was to kind of just get out and do a little bit of exploring and we kind of scoped out some spots that I think we might come back to maybe late fall this year or yeah, late fall, hey? Yeah, like late fall this year and maybe we'll come hunting out here if we can find some grouse. There's definitely a lot of varmin out here, a lot of uh, different uh, small animals. So it's definitely a plus coming out to this side. <coughs> Yeah, man. This, this area is very, very popular for uh, deer and moose hunting <clears throat> because it's crown land. So maybe we'll have to come back out here late fall. Yeah. Lots of tracks, lots of wildlife, and a wonderful space. Yeah. And it's close to home, which is nice. Before we end this, I just want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Connected to the Land. Connected to the Land was created to bring Canadians together during a time of isolation. Connected to the Land has articles and videos on a variety of topics including gardening, recipes, DIYs, hunting, and ice fishing. Don't forget to check out Connected to the Land's podcast to hear how everyday Canadians are connecting to the land. All right, guys, well, we snuffed out our fire and we made sure that we stirred it up real good. We made sure that everything was out. If you can't stand on it, then you should probably snuff it out some more. There's no smoke coming out. We mixed more and more uh, snow on, on top of it. And we made sure that we kept uh, uh, mixing it until it was pretty much completely out. It has to be out. And like I said before, always pack out what you pack in and yeah man leave no trace just leave your footprints that's his line <laughs> so it's starting to get dark we're gonna head back and yeah we got out here and did what we wanted to do we explored a bit and yeah if you guys like that video go ahead and share it hit that like button then hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for more notifications from the rugged tyros only here on tequila creative thanks for watching you guys